she loved her son a lot. He was her everything. So the memories I would have is just joyful moments that she had with her son. Tampa Police Department detectives are calling this case horrific. They say Tampa rapper Billy Adams admitted to pulling the trigger and killing 22 year old Elena Sims, who was five months pregnant. They say he's shown no remorse. Her son is her everything and that she was pregnant again and we and we just lost two souls basically two souls but, but we got family here we're together and we're just gonna do this together the 22 year old mother of one alana sims had her whole life ahead of her with her baby boy and the child she was five months pregnant with but that was until her boyfriend billy adams lured her out and brutally murdered her right in front of her child. This was happening just three days after Billy was acquitted of double murder charges, a crime he committed in 2020 when he brutally gunned down two men at a home recording studio. Three days after Billy walked free, he lured Alana to a quiet location with the promise that they were going to celebrate his court victory. But the moment she showed up, Billy pulled out his concealed weapon and opened fire at her while her one-year-old son was seated in the car right next to her. Now the question everyone keeps asking is, what is the motive behind this senseless act of violence? Why did Billy want the woman who was carrying his unborn child dead? And will her family ever get justice? Let's explore this case and find answers in this video. Tampa is a vibrant city on the Gulf Coast of Florida, known for its popularity as the cigar capital of the world, but more importantly, for its diverse culture and cuisine. It offers a range of attractions for all ages, from thrilling theme parks and exotic wildlife to historic landmarks and museums. Tampa is also a hub for sports, hosting several professional and college teams, as well as major events like the Super Bowl and the college football playoff. The city has a welcoming atmosphere and a laid back vibe, making it a great place to relax and have fun. However, not everyone who lived in Tampa had a happy and peaceful life. Unfortunately, Alana Sims was one of them. Born on February 13, 2000, Alana Sims had a humble and loving personality that endeared her to everyone who knew her. Everybody loves her. Everybody that comes around her, like, gravitates towards her. Her as a person, she was very selfless. She grew up in Tampa with her two sisters, who were her best friends and confidants. They said she always had a smile on her face and a kind word for others. My closest sibling, like that was my best friend. I told her everything, we did everything together. She always had a smile on her face, always was positive, no matter what. But Elena, she was like a mother for all of us. That was like, everybody makes a joke all the time. Even though I'm older than her, she was taller than me. Her mother said that Alana was the most generous and selfless person she ever knew. She would always put her family and friends first and do anything to make them happy. She was a bright, wonderful person, willing to do anything for anybody. Alana was a proud graduate of Chamberlain High School and a devoted mother to her one-year-old son. She cherished every moment she spent with him, so much so that she had given up her partying lifestyle after becoming a mother. She preferred to stay at home and cuddle with her son. She loved her son a lot. He was her everything. So the memories I would have is just joyful moments that she had with her son. At the time of her tragic death, Alana was looking forward to welcoming her second child as she was five months pregnant by her boyfriend, 25-year-old aspiring rapper, Billy Bennett Adams III, who goes by the stage name Ace NH. Billy was allegedly a member of the notorious Crips gang. He was born in Virginia and raised in Georgia, but he moved to Tampa Bay, Florida in 2017. He had a degree in science and management from the University of South Florida, but he was more interested in pursuing his rap career. He rapped about the harsh realities of the streets and glorified the violence that came with it. So, it was not surprising when on February 19, 2020, Billy gunned down two men whom he met at a friend's home studio. The victims were Trayvon Albury and Daniel Thompson. When Billy was linked to the murders and arrested, he claimed that he acted in self-defense as he heard the two men plotting to rob his friend, Joseph Meeks, the owner of the studio. 
After committing the murders, Billy fled the scene, leaving his friend Joseph with the bloody scene. Joseph was traumatized when eventually discovered the bodies moments later, and he immediately called 911. Billy was arrested shortly after that and charged with a double murder. But when the case went to trial, the rapper maintained his innocence and fought the charges for almost three years. I pulled out my gun and I shot this all very in fear of Mr. Beast being shot or myself being shot. As against Billy's claim of self-defense, the investigators were able to determine that murders were point-blank executions rather than self-defense. They said the two men were fired from behind, which means that they were probably backing Billy when he pulled the trigger. So, there was no way Billy could have been defending himself from two men who were not even confronting him. Unless, of course, he had other reasons to want them dead. The investigators suspected that Billy had some shady business dealing with the two men. Investigators say Adams is a gang member, and they believe he was connected to a gang feud involving weapons and money. A witness also corroborated this story in court, but the prosecution provided little enough evidence to get the jury on their side. So, the only story that stood in court was that of Billy as he took the stand to defend himself. In the end, the jury bought his self-defense claim, and on January 27, 2023, he was acquitted of the murder charges. We, the jury, find as follows to count two of the charge of murder in the first degree, Trayvon Alberry. The defendant is not guilty. See, that sigh of relief there. The jury also found Adams not guilty in the murder of Daniel Thompson. He was also acquitted of armed burglary. Adams looked relieved, but he stayed composed during the verdict. He walked out of the courtroom as a free man with a second chance at life, but his freedom was short-lived because just nine days after his acquittal, Billy was in cuffs again for murder. On Monday, January 30th, 2023, a passerby placed a frantic 911 call to report that they had seen a woman lying lifeless on the ground around Block 10,700 Pictorial Park inside the Eastern Park subdivision. Following this call, law enforcement officers were immediately dispatched to the scene, and when they arrived, they found a woman dead from bullet injuries to her head. She was lying next to her Ford EcoSport, which had her 18-month-old son sleeping in the back seat. A person called police when they saw her lying in the street near the Eastern Park subdivision. Her one-and-a-half-year-old son was sleeping in an SUV just next to her. After some preliminary investigations, the woman was identified as Alana Sims, Billy's girlfriend and the mother of his unborn child. Old Elena Sims was found lying in the street last night near the Eastern Park subdivision in New Tampa. Tonight, her family spoke only to 10 Tampa Bay Shannon Close, saying they just want to know what happened to her. As you would expect, Alana's family was completely devastated. So much was taken from this family Monday night. Tampa police say Elena was found dead in this area of New Tampa. Their pain was not just from losing their daughter, but from losing their grandchild, whom they would unfortunately never get a chance to meet. Our son is our everything. And that she was pregnant again, and we, and we just lost two souls, basically, two souls. But, but we got family here, we're together. And we're just gonna do this together. Yes, he's perfectly fine. No harm was done to him. He's safe with us. The authorities suspected that Alana's death was not a random act of violence. It was a targeted and deliberate murder, and they needed to find who did it. One of their first points of contact was, of course, Alana's boyfriend, Billy. So the investigators quickly brought him in for questioning. Initially, they were not questioning him on the suspicion that he did it, but the moment they started speaking with him, they began to see reasons to believe that he was more involved in the murder than they had initially thought. First, Billy's answers were evasive and contradictory. He denied any involvement in her murder and claimed that he was not the father of Alana's unborn baby. He also said that he had cut off all ties with her for several months and had no reason to see her again. When asked about his activities on the day of the murder, Billy claimed that he spent the whole night of January 30th, 2023, at his home and did not leave until the next day. 
However, the detectives had proof that he was lying. They obtained surveillance footage and records from the gated community where he lived, which showed that he used his father's car that night. When they confronted him with this evidence, he changed his story and said that he went out with some friends and even showed them a video to back up his claim. But the detectives were not fooled. They once again analyzed the video and found out that it was doctored to show the date of the murder, when in fact it was taken on February 1st. The detectives also seized Billy's phone and got a search warrant to access its contents, but when they took a look, they were stunned by what they found. It happened that had been communicating with another woman named Lakinya Brantley, who seemed to be his new girlfriend. On January 29, 2023, the day before the murder, Billy wrote to Lakinya saying, I'm just so sad because I thought we was gonna have a real relationship at this point. Brantley responded, saying, and now she's pregnant and still here. Then Billy replied with the word no several times. You not talking me out of it, he wrote. Tomorrow this shot is done. He continued, I meant what I said. We finna have our life. And it don't include her. I want a life I'm supposed to have many, he wrote later. Brantley then tried to discourage her from doing anything stupid, saying, this ain't the way, baby. Other messages found on Billy's phones showed him communicating with another male friend on Feb 1st, telling him that the cops would be talking to him. Billy wrote, Remember, 7820. Tell them I pulled up on you. The detectives also found out that Billy had searched for the Eastern Park subdivision on his phone on January 30th at 6.43 p.m., the exact location where Alana's body was dumped. Meanwhile, Billy had initially denied any contact with Alana on that day, but when the investigators confronted him with this treasure trove of evidence, he finally cracked and confessed that he met with her that night and murdered her. But once again, he claimed that he had murdered her in self-defense, just like he did in the previous double murder case that he was acquitted of. He said Alana had pulled a gun on him, and when he tried to wrestle it from her, the gun accidentally went off, killing her. This story could have probably flown, but once the detective asked him to demonstrate exactly what happened and how it happened, Billy changed his story once again. This time, he said that he was able to wrestle the gun from her and then proceeded to pull the trigger. So far, this confession has accounted for who committed the crime. Now the detectives want to know why Billy would brutally murder the woman who was believed to be carrying his unborn child. Sadly, the child was actually the reason Billy eliminated both the child and the mother because he simply wasn't ready to be a father and he didn't want Alana in her life anymore. No need. If you didn't want to be in her life, walk away. She would have been taken care of regardless. Following his confession, Billy was ultimately arrested and charged with two counts of first-degree murder to which he pleaded not guilty. Tampa Police Department detectives are calling this case horrific. They say Tampa rapper Billy Adams admitted to pulling the trigger and killing 22-year-old Elena Sims, who was five months pregnant. They say he's shown no remorse. If Tampa police investigators are right, then Billy Adams is a cold-hearted killer. They believe he plotted to murder a woman who may have been carrying his unborn child, a child he did not want. He's in jail tonight, a place he's very familiar with. While his case is still ongoing, Billy is held without bond at the Falkenberg Road Jail in Hillsborough County, Florida. Reacting to his recent murder charges, the juror who served in his earlier double murder trial said that no one believed his story the first time, but they had no choice but to acquit him because the prosecution failed to provide a motive for why Billy would murder two strangers in a recording studio. No one on the jury actually believed Billy Adams' testimony but we didn't have to believe his testimony. What we needed to find was proof of guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. And we could not find that. Aside from the two counts of first degree murder charges against Billy, he's also facing a charge of murdering an unborn child by injury to the mother. But do you think Alana's would have a chance to get justice for her in this trial? Or do you see Billy getting out as easily as he did the first time? Please feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comments below, and if you have enjoyed this video, please do well to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, guys.
Until next time, please stay safe.